Hello, this is Pixelated Twix. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are not new here, welcome back. I'm going to start a new series. Um, I've been thinking about this for the last day or so. I'm thinking about starting a new series called um, Build Games. Basically, Build Series. We're going to be going over a series of building games, voxel and the like. Um, I guess voxel is the same as a building game. I'm not sure. I really don't know or understand this genre per se but i do play a lot of voxel games if you are a avid follower you know that i play boundless i've also played minecraft in the past i still play minecraft i just don't record it really on this channel that is a thought though but today we're going to start off with this game called house builder i received the key from key mailer and the, the uh, game dev so i want to say thank you to both for providing me with a key so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. I don't know a lot about the game, but it did pique my interest. So let's get to it. All right. So it sounds, it looks like we start off with this one house for free. Easy. So there's different levels. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, we're starting with an igloo. I'm not really sure what to expect here, guys. Um, we're basically playing this by ear. Uh, oh, this is kind of like a Skyrim-esque uh, loading screen, right? Skyrim Fallout 4-esque loading screen. I like it. So Francois Cognier, maybe, was the first to use iron-reinforced concrete as a technique for constructing building structures. In 1853, Cognier built the first iron-reinforced re concrete structure, a four-story house at 72 Rue. Charles Michaels in the suburbs of Paris. I really like the the tidbits of history, architectural history. That's really cool. All right, fun fact. Good to see you, Bilger. Hope the weather won't scare you off. Let's be honest, that's a tough job. As you probably know, we all build. We build all around the world. You might expect bigger buildings, more mechanics and construction challenges in the future. But for now, let's see how you will handle it. Have fun. Good luck, and have fun. Let's go. Let's go. Quick tips. To start building the igloo, you must cut out ice blocks. To do this, grab the highlighted bone knife, then come near the ice quarry, and while holding the left mouse button, draw a contour along the scratch on the ice. Okay, so. All right, so snow bricks. Okay, so these are what are called snow bricks. Okay, so we're gonna have to pick these up individually. So E to pick up and left mouse button to build. Okay, pretty easy. So where's this knife? E to pick up. All right, so this is the ice quarry. So help panel, bone igloo knife. Before you start, you'll have to find the, I, the igloo bone knife, which we did. Um, is it the bone igloo knife or the igloo bone knife? Not sure. Press E to grab it, which we did. Empty source. When you see there's no more ice in the hole, you have to look for another source. If you already have a knife in your hands, draw a contour along visible track on the ice while holding left. Okay. So, like this. <laughs> it's never good at tracing, y'all. Okay. So, pick this up and bring it over here. Okay, so do we have to keep going back? It looks like we might have to keep going back. Um, oh, we got a new skill. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the skill tree. So far, I like the UI, and this is very smooth. I kind of wish this you could zoom. Oh, I was about to say, I kind of wish you could zoom in and out, but I guess you can. You just have to use the scroll button. Um, and yeah, so before I speak, maybe I should do. All right, so let's see. Um, what are we? What do we have? Log splitter master. Triple the number of logs when cutting with a chainsaw. Requirement: you must cut seventy logs. Okay, so there is a prerequisite for some of these skills, or all these skills, I guess. So this is the only one we can choose. Beginning igloo builder. With this skill, you can cut two times more snow blocks at the same time okay so we're gonna unlock that all right so do we have to keep picking up the knife okay so we just okay use our mouse button i'm just gonna do this 
grab that. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm enjoying myself so far. All right, let's get this knife again. Kind of wish we didn't have to keep clicking um, the button. So we got another skill, right? Help panel, skill tree. Did we get another skill? I don't know. Do we have to get a... Did we run out? Okay. So, get a knife again. And... There we go. I mean, we don't have to be right on the line. I feel... I would fail that. I am terrible. Like I said, at tracing. The bonfire is dying. You have to throw more sticks in the fire or you will surely freeze. Okay, so this has survival aspect to it. Aspect to it. Okay. Oh, I've got a puppy here. Right. Hold and throw. Hold and throw. Do I get to name my dog? Do I name my dog? Can I pet the dog? I can't pet the dog. Okay. Hold and throw. All right. So we have to make sure the fire is still burning hot. Find another source. This one is empty. Okay. So we need to find another source. I wonder how far... I wonder if there's any danger. Here's one right here. I should probably try to peep out my next... prospect as far as like where I can get ice from. This might take a while. This. I got a new skill. Let's open it up. Let's see if we got an extra. Oh, I should have looked at that tip. Oh, so we can go here. Sprint to beginner. The skill will allow you to run and walk 30% faster. Okay, so we can go over here too. What is this? With this skill, you can cut six. Okay, we're going to go with the six times more blocks from snow. I'm not too worried about walking really fast yet. Right now, I'm just worried about the back and forth. Okay, what's the dog saying? To start building the igloo, you must first... Okay, so what's the dog talking about? Is the dog warning me about the fire? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's the dog... Why is the dog barking? Oh, I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm cold. So the dog is warning me about the fire. So it's not just there for looks. Alright. Okay, I was freezing. Kind of like the... The um the window effect or the monitor effect. All right, so where are we at? We can cut 15 times more. Or, let's just do that. Let's do it. I've reached. I've achieved a master igloo builder. I don't know why that was a tongue twister. Okay, sweet. Can I get all of these? And there's real physics in here. I like it. And I, did I get another one? Did I get another one? Let's do it. Okay. Um, oh, okay. That sounds very satisfying. Uh, let's hide that because that's kind of annoying. So what if I start running out of sticks? Find another source, this one's empty, gotcha. But my question is, what if I run out of sticks? Because I've only got five here. Do I have to build this before I run out of sticks? Finish this before I run out of sticks? Is that the goal? Where's our next? Okay, we're going a little further out this time. Okay, so, yeah, that emptied out really fast. Okay. Alright. Go ahead! Done. It's still only 66% done. Oh, I... Press O to open the shop. Okay, what do we got? So, wooden barricade and tanning rack. 
so we need to buy these. Do we have the money? This is just decor. Okay, so it's just decor. I'm thinking we are having to protect the camp encampment. I've been playing way too many survival games. Okay, um, let's put that there. did in 18 minutes one second I'm not really sure what that means is this how many meters I walked or how much I walked don't know what that means quite yet so I can stay here we're gonna go ahead and continue okay the electric I couldn't read that okay so now we're moving over to the continent of Africa Let's see what's over here so another free one this is a mud house level medium Okay. The handsaw was known in antiquity. The Greeks uh, attrib attribute this in, uh, invention to Talos, uh, the Daedalus nephew who paid for it with his life. He died at the hand of a jealous uncle. Really? You don't give up easily, do you? Good, as another challenge awaits you. Um, hope you brought an, in an insect spray. You may need it. We heard some stories about a hungry lion around here. Let's get the job done quickly so we don't have to face them. Good luck and have fun. I'm sorry, what? Pick up the stone. So we, we've got to build using a player sense. Let's see. I think, all right, what's, what's player sense? Was it, is this? Oh, okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Now, can I pick up more than one? Yes, I can. How many can I actually pick up? So I have nine in my hand. Tell me I can pick up. Oops. I really do not feel like running into a lion. So... I need turn first. Okay. Oh, this is probably for mud. I gotcha. What is this? Oh, this is to make mud. This is to make mud bricks. And then we put them in the furnace. Okay. 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 One more time. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Interesting. Use my spidey sense. Um, I'll just throw this down. You know, I'm right here. Um, I 
feel like I'm going further and further out. I'm really nervous about this. Uh, can I walk in this water? Really, really nervous about this lion. Yelp. Life is friendly. Oh my gosh. Okay. You ever watch these guys that go into like the wilderness, like the woods, and they build little huts and things from their surroundings and they actually stay in them like overnight or a couple days? I have like been watching a bunch of these videos. So this kind of is kind of reminds me of that where you take, um, obviously. They're doing it for, I don't know why they do it, for recreation's sake, maybe? Maybe they don't, maybe they are true survivalists. But, um, obviously, if you truly lived in a place like this, you would not be doing it just for fun. All right, I need more sticks. But if you're interested in that, go check out, just put, type in, um, oh gosh, I don't even know what you would type in. Maybe type in like hut in the woods or um, I don't know. But these guys like, I think it kind of came from this um, me watching people like camp out in like their car or um, just, uh, yeah, they camp out in their car or um, like they try to go and camp out in some weird places like I'm going to camp out in this neighborhood in my car and see if I get caught or something like that. And it kind of led me to um, the guys that go out in the woods and build huts out of mud and sticks and stuff like that. Uh, what did I... Okay. Now I'm starting to see where the strength is coming in because I'm gathering all this other stuff. Alright, what else do we need? Looks like that's the door. Another part of the roof. We need more. What's this? Okay, so this skill will allow you to chop palm trees faster. Alright. Can I chop this one? That is not one I can chop. Alright, is this. It really just is the skinnier ones. I kind of wish you could chop the bigger ones, only because you obviously get more wood from the bigger trees. I can't see what the sticks are. So this one doesn't have weather, so I'm not getting overheated in this one. Um, I guess there isn't really... Uh, I find on a gold idol. Alright. Oh jeez, that scared me. <laughs> on edge. I need more sticks. More sticks. Try another material. So I'm assuming I need more sticks. This doesn't look like sticks though. Is it sticks? Try it out. Is it? Yeah. Chopping trees forever. Okay, so I'm going to say um, really quick, my first observation here with this game. 
I do, n I, I think that it would be a little more helpful if you could chop, even if it's these, uh, these trees here, um, because, or some of the bigger trees, but even if it's like the medium to the smaller trees, that would be a little more helpful because I feel like searching for the skinny trees is getting a little more difficult. Um, can I use my spidey sense to find skinny trees? Oh, okay. So actually, I... Missed some branches here. So will this, like, point out... Other skinny trees? making me nervous. Honestly, there's probably no lion. There's probably no lion. Eight more. Okay, so we are actually limited to where we can go. So we're kind of stuck in this area. Not we kind of are. We are stuck in this area, so we can't venture out too, too far either way. Hmm. That's kind of disappointing. Okay, so it looks like some of these do replenish, though. Did I miss some? Like limbs? I have. Okay, here's some. Also, I need to keep an eye out on other things on the ground because obviously you can find stuff, other stuff on the ground. Okay. Alright, let's. What do you mean? Oh. to that later. How about we get these done first? Okay. Is that it? Oh. 
the house is stiff. All right. So now we need to make the mud. Um, so we dig dirt. Fill it with the scoop. Okay. Um, so I have a scoop here. Oh. W fill it with clay. Making mud. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Grab the water. This is really involved. Throw that in here. What am I doing here? Oh, I just made... Okay. Uh, now what? what? Okay. Well, now what? Let's open the skill. <laughs> I have no idea! Um, what is this? Jump master. Okay. Allows you to... Yeah, we already know. So, oh, okay. Pick it up. So now what? That's it? I don't... What, what was this for? Turn on the furnace. Requires wood. So where am I putting this? Like this? Fire split. Okay. That didn't work for me. That didn't work for me, folks. I'm just going to put that back because I obviously don't know what the heck I'm doing. Okay. Let's just stick with the task that we were given. Mud balls. Okay, that, not going to lie, is a tad... Okay. At least I'm close. Ah! There we go. Okay. I'm gonna have to do this a lot. I'm gonna have to do this a whole lot. So you guys know I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this game. Like a one and done. Um, okay. Oh, can we do more than one? No, we cannot. I need a system. I need a system. I guess this is kind of on the more realistic side, which, you know what? I would have to learn to appreciate because this is someone's culture here. And, um,. I'm a lazy American. Okay, here we go. Okay. Got it. There we go. And voila. Okay, so now we need my scoop. filled. Okay. Now we need the water. And then pour it in this. Now what is this? Okay. Skill. This will allow you to chop palm trees faster. Oh! Let's do this one. Okay. More mud bricks. Sweet. Okay. So now we can make the mud balls. So I can make more than, oh shoot, look at this. Okay, back to making mud balls. Oh wait, where'd all my mud balls go? 
Okay, that didn't work. Wait. Hey, this is my jam. <laughs> this is a bop. All right, so I need to get my scoop. Scoop it up. Put it in there. Scoop it up. Put it in there. Scoop it up. Put it in there. Get my bowl. Go to the water. Fill it up. Feeling a little energized today. Put that in there. Nope. Go in here and make my bowl. I got this down pat. Right? And then we throw these in here, grab them, slam them, pop it, twist it. I don't, yeah, oops. Oh, wait! <laughs> what are these? Okay. Um, there we go. Oh, this is gonna take me forever. I, oh, yeah. I, let's see, what did I get? What's this? What else did I get? Uh, muscle man. Mm. Is that it? You can unlock it. Mud bricking expert. More bricks. Let's do it. All right, turn this music down a little bit. I feel like it's a little loud in my ear. All right, here we go. Okay, so now we can make more bricks. See how many we can make. I'm struggling with this. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm a genius. Look at this. I am an absolute genius. Throw this in here. Yep. Oh, I've neglected this whole part of the house. I wonder if I can stack a bunch. Like, how many can I carry? Let's just see. Okay, let's just... Oh, I can carry quite a few. What, what have I been doing? Apparently not playing the game. <laughs> Apparently not playing the game. Um... I've got quite a few here. All right, so I went ahead and put my skill in and I'm the mud bricking master at this point. I will be able to form unimaginable more mud blocks at the same time. It allows you to build brick after brick all the time. After you, you just need to hold, oh, okay. Well, let's, let's check this out. Wait, where's my, what? I'm, I'm, this is, Whoa, okay. Well, can I hold more than one mud ball? That's the same. Like, can I have both? Like, can I? Nope, just the one. But still, I can carry a lot. Uh -oh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let's see how many I can hold. Pick up wood, oh, that's a tip. Let me, let me turn that tip off, that's, that's a little annoying. A little intrusive to make gameplay. All right, so we got all this. Okay. Wait. Okay. I feel like I should just build this side of the wall up, but if I, I got 81 bricks here, I can go all day. So this is much faster doing it this way. What have I been doing? What have I been doing? Nothing, nothing. Screwing up is what I've been doing. So, look at this. More skills. Yeah, you definitely earn new skills very quickly in this game. And I think, and sorry about all the clicking, but I think that it could be beneficial, but then again, it might make it less challenging, but maybe it's not the skill that it's but the the challenge of the actual build because the igloo was very easy this is a medium build and apparently they time you so is it a matter of 
beating your best time building a particular house. I don't quite understand the premise of the game yet, except building houses, building different types of houses in different areas of the world. I wonder if there's a Asian, like a Japanese style. Oh, well, that would be cool. I'd be interested in that. But I also noticed too that you can sell the houses that you built. Um, so if you're familiar with House Flipper, uh, which is one of my favorite games, we'll be uh, going over that one too. Uh, I've got House Flipper, um, I've got, um, I'm thinking Castle Flipper, I've got the Train Station one, uh, Train Station Flipper, I think it is, or something like that. I've got um, Tenants, those are all in my lineup so far. And uh, I might pick up an, a few more, I don't know. But I definitely want a good um, good variety of build games so you know if you're into those type of games, voxel, I guess these are called voxel games, right? If you're into that type of thing, you know, stick around, stick around. A couple of the games I like to play that have building aspects in it are like Fallout, Fallout 4, Fallout 76. Um, let me see. Let me see. A couple other games I can't think of right now. Um, maybe Dragon Age kind of does, sort of. Very little. Um, maybe Stardew Valley. I really wouldn't call Stardew Valley a build game because you're not really building. My Time at Porsche would be another good one. Um, it's more like a crafting game. But if you like uh, the idea of crafting and farming, so I probably won't be covering that because that's not really a, build, a building game. That's more of a farming game. Farming and crafting. So, scratch that. I am now an expert brick builder. Yes. Brick maker. Brick builder. Brick maker. Okay, this whole side is going to be all brick. So this was a whole mud house, mud brick house. For some reason, I thought we were gonna add like other bits, but okay. Um, I can't pick up as many bricks as I could. What? Or maybe this brick is, okay, I think this brick is glitched. Maybe that's why. Whoa. Look at that. That's satisfying. That is satisfying. I'm overloaded, I'm overloaded. Okay, so what does that mean if I'm overloaded? Do I run out of energy faster? This says I'm overloaded. I don't move any slower, so. you could lay more than one brick at a time. Just <laughs> Maybe that'll destroy the gameplay a little bit if I too OP. I think we'll have enough to finish this whole side. Yep. Then we're gonna have to come back. Let's go ahead and grab some more bricks. Wow. Look at that. I have 153. I wonder how many I could actually carry. Let's see. I'm overloaded. Okay, so 184, I'm overloaded. So, I'm still overloaded. 168, I'm still overloaded. Now what? 
firing tiles. So this is where the um Oh, okay. And we put it in the oven, cook them on top, and then those come out. Okay, we can do this. So the same mud balls, we throw them in here. We grab this, wait. Okay, let's just throw this. Did I put that in there? Wait, where'd it go? Okay. So we put it in the, we put it in, well, where's the hole? What? Oh, <laughs> I was standing on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not working for me. Okay. So like that. So can I make more than one? These are not cooperating. No? Am I putting this in my... Uh... Okay, so, they go on top, right? that right oh okay some more in here and it's 100 percent done now what oh this has to be more that the more in here okay oh that's not what I want wait now what? Ninety-nine percent hot. First, shape the tiles the same. Okay. Now what? Get the tiles out. Oh, okay. So you need you need several. You need this to be hot. Is what they're saying. Right. Okay. So I'm wasting materials. Okay. So then I put. Dig up some mud. Okay. Then go back to the water. This is our work, I'm telling you. Um, just roll up the balls. This would be satisfying. I would love to do this part. And then throw them in here. Throw this. Slam dunk it in there. Kobe Bryant. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to make. Okay, what's well, going? I'm overloaded. How do I get rid of these? How, how do I get? How do? Oh, I guess I can't. Okay. Well, um, I probably messed myself up. Okay. Well, we're just gonna lay these down. Um, try another material. Let me guess. I can lay extra tiles. No. Um, we get beginning. Okay, fire up more play tiles. Gotcha. All right. Yeah, this is going to take forever. If I... Okay. All right. So we get the gist of this. Basically, we're going to end up finishing this roof. The house is going to be complete. There's probably... Let's see what we can get from the store. A couple of these fence logs. Um, some plants. Oh, so we can make some plants here. Make it look really nice. I kind of wish there was a little more to this. Um, let's go back to the store. We got a fence. Okay. So we can throw the fence down. Put that here. Does it, does it snap? Not really. Okay. There's a little bit of 
running through there with the fence. Okay, so, okay. All right, so um, let me just go ahead and give you guys my final thoughts on this, this game. So far, um, it's, I think that it's definitely missing some things um, as far as like the gameplay is concerned. Very limited to the area that you can actually explore. I was kind of hoping that it was a little more open world. Um, but House Flipper isn't really open world. You just, you're stuck to the plot that you're in. And that's fine. So I guess I'm kind of nitpicking that way. But if you're gathering materials from the environment around you, I would think that you would have a little more open space. I did kind of like the fear factor that I was getting at the beginning. Um, because I thought that maybe there might be wild animals. And it could be just my playing Icarus a little bit too much. Other than that, um, I think the game has potential. This is an uh, indie game. I'm not sure what stages this is in, if this is a finished product or not. Um, I really wasn't given that information or maybe I missed that. Um, and I can double check just to be sure. Um, um, I feel like maybe there could be some more decor items. Um, oh, there's a, I had no idea. Uh, there, there was a scroll reel. <laughs> Uh, so that's something I didn't know about. But yeah, I feel like there could be a little more decor items in the actual um, homes, make that a little bit more fun, um, add a few things here and there. Um, I realize there, these, there are limitations with culturally some limitations, but maybe more research as far as I, that is concerned. Also, I'm kind of curious about the artifacts that you find. Uh, like this, in this area, there were little artifacts that I found um, as I was gathering. Wonder kind of what that's for, really didn't have any clue. Um, the UI is pretty user friendly. Um, so no complaints about that. Graphics are gorgeous. So it looks pretty realistic. Um, and I, I like the, the different environments. So that was a really interesting. Listen, do I think this might be worth your, your time and your money? Um, maybe if this is your thing, if you're into building and just nothing else, um, this might be something cool for you to get into. I kind of like the building survival aspect of games like this. This really doesn't have a lot of survival, although it, it felt like it might have went, uh, might have tried to go in that direction with the, um, like the Alaskan or the igloo builds with keeping your fire warm so you won't freeze to death. There's no like environmental hindrances here. So I'm wondering if that's just the, a one-time thing. Not really sure. But anyways, um, I probably would give this, if I'm going to grade this, and I usually don't grade games on a scale uh, from 1 to 10, I'd probably give this game a 4, um, maybe 4.5. It, it de definitely has potential for more. Um, and maybe if I play a little bit longer, I'll open up some other aspects of the game but it's very easy to level up your skills in the game and that can be good because you tend to build a little bit faster and obviously more materials um, because it can feel a little bit tedious um, but all right guys I hope you enjoyed this hope you enjoyed my final thoughts um, like I said if this is something that you think you might want to pick up um, I believe it's available on Steam I'm not sure if it's available on any other consoles but I will let you know in the description box below uh, stay tuned for another building game in this building series, one and done building series. And um, I will see you next time. Same back time, same back channel. All right, guys. Until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. Ciao.